those Roscommon 111, Sligo 19 points at Dr. Hyde Park. Sligo are Connacht Minor football champions for the first time in 53 years. They have won the Connacht Minor Football Championship after a very comfortable win over Roscommon in the end, a five-point victory. And look, listen, I don't do too many match reactions to... Uh, to minor games or under 20 games or anything like that which we will be doing a lot more of now that the um you know the, there's not many football games or senior football games to react to so we'll also you know have a number of different um under 20 and ladies football previews coming out later in the week so do stay tuned for that but look listen this was sligo's day uh, or, or sligo's night last night obviously getting that victory over roscommon i did watch the game and uh, was planning on making a video on it the following morning and um huge win for sligo you know, as they, they sum up on their own tweet on the Sligo GEA official Twitter account, you know, a man landed on the moon more recently than Sligo GEA winning a, a Connacht minor title. Now, whether, you know, someone actually landed on the moon or not, I think that's a, that's a debate for another day. But um, Sligo winning a, a Connacht minor football title, what a huge achievement for Sligo. And I think it's important to acknowledge what a big achievement that it is for Sligo. And that's another reason why I thought I would discuss this and a little bit further detail because a huge win over Ross Common, who were obviously minor champions last year, and um, Sligo getting the better of them by by five points and very impressive stuff from Sligo. You know they came very fast out of the traps. They hit five points without reply. You know until uh, Shane McGinley's goal of Ross Common, and uh, you know one thing that most impressed me about Sligo was you know kicking nineteen points at minor level. That is impressive. You know that's not something you see in every game. You know normally a lot of minor games are a lot low scoring with the fact that they're only sixty minutes and obviously the quality of football isn't quite the same as a senior level or under twenty level. Um, but Sligo, you know, to kick 19 points, like that's a, on average, that's a point nearly every three minutes. So, you know, and that was probably the most impressive thing about Sligo was that they never slowed down in the game. Like any time Russ Common looked like they were about to cut the gap or, or maybe cut it down to, you know, a point or maybe come back into the game, Sligo steadied the ship and they were, they were a very, very well coached team, you know, obviously managed by Paul Henry. Um, fair play to him. Like he's done a fantastic job coming into the team this year. Um, just a very well coached team, you know, like they, they pick their passes very well, they're calm in possession, you don't see them shooting too much from, you know, tough angles, you know, they're very high percentage shots that they go for, um, and Roscommon as well, like a lot of times when they, you know, they were very physical in their ta in their tackling, um, you know, Roscommon were playing, you know, a man on man press and every time one of the Roscommon defenders, or one any time one of the Sligo defenders had the ball you know the was common defenders would push out very very quickly and, and try and uh, you know get the ball off them as soon as possible and i thought sligo done a very good job of playing through that press you know they were calm in possession playing it from side to side uh kyle davy very impressive in goal at different stages for sligo good job of picking out his kickouts and you know robert o'kelly lynch and, and connor johnston as well you know, just playing through that press of, of Ross Common, a lot of the time it would be, you know, Bobby Nugent or Ryan Conlon who would really press in, in the faces of that of that Sligo team. And Sligo just ran through it and played through it. And at different stages as well, you could see that Ross Con that Sligo's attack, whether it be Joshua Flynn or, or Brian Duffy, you know, when they were getting in and around the, the full back line of, of Ross Common, Ross Common would swarm three or four players around Sligo. And in the end, that was probably actually Ross Common's downfall because they gave away a lot of frees. I think, you know, I think in this game in total, Luke Marin hit seven points from freeze in this game. Obviously, Kyle Davey had one point from a 45. Connor McMorrow, who came off the bench of Sligo, hit a point as well um, from a free. So, you know, what's that in total? That's eight frees in there. So, you know, that, that kind of shows you, you know, obviously Roscommon in, in total in this game hit 111. So they nearly gave away you know, an entire free amount of what they scored. So um, that was certainly a downfall. But Sligo, you know, were very good at hanging on to the ball. And I think that's why they won a lot of those frees. And when they didn't win frees, they were able to peel away from some of those Ross Common defenders and, and score those kick chances that came. Obviously, some standout players on the day for, for Sligo. I mean, Luke Marin looks like a very talented footballer. Hit 11 points, four of, or seven of them were from place balls. But, uh, yeah, what a top-class forward he is. You know, brilliant at kicking from distance and, you know, very, very impressive stuff from, from Sligo and from Luke Marin in particular. And a very electric full forward line. Joshua Flynn, Brian Duffy, Luke Marin interchanging at different stages, creating more space, you know, confusing the Roscommon defenders the way they're all swapping around. Very innovative stuff, it must be said there, from Paul Henry. And he's done a very good job. Don't know a lot about Paul Henry, I'll be perfectly honest. I know he's newly appointed as the manager of uh, the Sligo Miners, but fair play, like a very well coached team, 
Um, and you know he's obviously got a lot of experience there because um, Sligo really managed this game very very well. They didn't panic at all throughout the entirety of the game, which sometimes you can see, you know, at minor level or under twenty level, you know, because the experience isn't there and teams can panic quite a bit. For example, we'll get we'll get on to the Mead Miners in a minute because they'll be the team that Sligo are playing next. But when Mead were playing Dublin, like Mead rattled Dublin completely in the opening ten minutes, destroyed them completely, and Dublin panicked. They started going for goals and kind of lost their heads a bit. You know, and you see that quite a lot because these players are inexperienced. You know, you need to, you know, the only way you can gain experience is by being in these moments, being in these tough moments. And fair play to Sligo, like really, really well fought. Um, even Stephen Rogan as well, brilliant ball carrier. James Donlan as well kicked a, a very good point. You Jack McGovern coming off the bench and, you know, obviously Conor McMorrow who came off the bench hit a free as well. So plenty of free, free takers. Kyle Davey hit a 45 you know, when you've got a, a goalkeeper that can kick from, from distance, that shows you, you know, how good of a, a modern day goalkeeper he might very well go on to be. So fair play to, to Kyle Davy and, and, and Sligo there. For us common, look, listen, I mean, it's a tough defeat for them to take. They, I believe they, I, I, I think it was a Galway they beat or Galway or Mayo who they beat in the last game. Obviously Galway played Mayo and, and Ross Common played the winner of that. But um, yeah, look, listen, I thought DJ Hessian and, and Shane Walsh were, were very impressive in midfield. One time where Shane Walsh hit a point from about uh, you know 30, 40 yards. And uh, DJ, he- DJ Hessian was very impressive in the, in the midfield as well. Bobby Nugent's another talented player. Shane McGinley scored 1-2. So not the end of the world for us. Common look, plenty of talent coming through there. And certainly, I think we can all say in terms of uh, Gaelic football that we need new teams to come through. We need new young players to come through. We need to see more competitive championships moving forward. And if that means Sligo go on to, to win maybe in All-Ireland this year on minor level or you know, or, or something to that effect, that would be absolutely brilliant. And they are coming up against a, a Mead side that absolutely destroyed my own county, Dublin, 3-8 to 1-3. Uh, to I watched that game as well there during the week. Um, yeah, look, listen, I mean, Mead were unbelievable in that game. I mean, they get if, if it hadn't been a boxing match, it would, it would have been called off after, you know, four or five minutes. Um, you know, Dublin done well in the second half to steady the ship a little bit and grew more and more into the game after kicking just one point in the first half. But... It's hard to look past me at this point. You know, Huey Corcoran, Ushino Merku. Um, you've obviously got Sean Emmanuel, who was man of the match on, on in that game, and he was unbelievable. So it'd be very hard to see. I mean, I haven't seen enough of both both sides, really, to make a, an accurate prediction. But looking at Mead, you know, they were obviously Leinster champions last year on minor level as well. So Mead is a side that's certainly been coming for quite a while at uh, minor level and whether Sligo have what it takes to go out to go ahead and, and beat them, we'll wait and see. But certainly, as a Dublin man myself, you can bet your life that you know I'll certainly have a Sligo jersey on for 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 that game. There's no uh, there's no two ways about it. But um, yeah, look, listen, this has been the match reaction. Anyways, after Sligo beat Ross Common, obviously no football action this weekend, so I thought I would make uh, a quick video on Sligo's very historic win against Ross Common, winning their first minor Connacht title in fifty three years. A huge day for Sligo there will be match reactions out later for the hurling action and tomorrow as well so stay tuned for them but anyways my name is Aaron and I'll see you all in the next one